so Sir Walter and your sister are gone. And what part of Bath do you think they've been settled in? Must that thing go exactly there, Henrietta? Isn't it splendid, Mama? It will sound very well with the pianoforte. Don't you think, Anne? <laughs> what was wrong with my old spinet, I'd like to know? That it must make way for this great noisy article. Oh, Anne, will you play when we next give a dance? <gasps> But you play a great deal better than either of us, and we are wild for dancing. <laughs> oh, yes, please, Miss Anne. Oh, Lord bless me, how those fingers of hers can fly about! <laughs> I will play too, if you wish. I'm quite as accomplished as Anne. Why, well, thank you, Mary. Oh, but we all enjoy so much to watch you dancing, Mary. You're so light on your feet. And, as you know, Anne does not care to dance. No. I sent them round the back. Ah, oh, I won't do it. There, no. <laughs> oh, Miss Anne, Anne, what a great delight. Mr. Musgrove, the delight is all mine to return once more to Uppercross. You're most welcome to be here among us. Thank you. You look well, Charles. Very well. I got a brace of pheasant this morning and father hit a squab, but the dog couldn't find it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> feel pretty well, Anne. Thank you, yes. You were missed at luncheon, Charles. Your father is in good health, I trust, Miss Anne. They've gone to Bath, Papa. Do you not remember oh. me saying? Oh, yes, Bath. Oh, I do Bath. hope we shall be in Bath this winter. Perhaps we may. But remember, if we do go, we must be in a good situation. Ah, yes, somewhere near the circus, Papa. Well, it's a, it's a big place, Bath. Aye, it's a great big place. So I believe. Upon my word, I shall be well off, shan't I? When you were all gone away to be happy at Bath. Anne, come and sit by the fire. My dear, I make it a rule of never interfering in my daughter-in-law's concerns. But I have to tell you, I have no very good opinion of the way Mary curbs her children. Oh, they are fine, healthy boys. But Lord, bless me. How troublesome they can be. Mrs Musgrove is forever advising me on the care of little Charles and Waldo. Yet she gives them so many sweet things to eat, they invariably come home sick. Moreover, how am I supposed to keep them in order when their father spoils them so much? I could banish the boys very well were it not for Mary's interference. And I wish you could persuade her not to be always fancying herself ill. It is a very bad thing to be visited by children whom one can only keep in tolerable order by more cake than is good for them. Could you possibly, whilst you are here, give Mary a hint that it would be better if she were not so very tenacious about taking precedence over Mama? I mean, nobody doubts her right to take precedence over Mama, but it's not becoming of her always to insist on it. <laughs> Mama doesn't care about etiquette. It's the cake she cares about. Well, these people are apt to forget whose daughter I am. Will you have a moment? You must speak to Charles Anne. I'm persuading that I am very, very ill. Oh, Anne. Let's just hope they are not tardy about paying their respects. 